Hey, what's up YouTube? Recently I got the opportunity from Coursera to check out their top three cybersecurity certificates. The Google Cybersecurity Professional, the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional, and the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional. Links to all of these down below. If you've ever heard of Coursera, which I'm guessing you probably have, then it's quite likely you'll associate them with their rightfully popular Google certifications. Coursera actually has a handful of Google certs, including one on IT support, one on project management, and of course the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Now I've actually taken the coursework for both the IT support and the cybersecurity certificate through Google, and I think these are an excellent starting point for their prospective roles. However, there's actually a lot of reviews and videos on the cybersecurity certificate through Google on Coursera already, including one that TCM has already done, which I'll link below if you're curious curious to check it out. So for that reason, I've actually chosen to explore a different certificate in this video and do a deeper dive, which is the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional. Now before we actually take a look at the curriculum for this certification, what I liked about it, what I didn't, and who I think should take it, I'd like to briefly talk about what initially drew my attention to this certification. Most entry-level cybersecurity courses or certifications are vendor neutral. This means that instead of focusing on how to use a specific tool or software, instead they focus on the high-level foundational concepts. So for example, if you were learning about firewalls, you would learn about the generics of a firewall instead of how to actually use a specific brand's firewall. This can be great when you are starting out because then your learning and knowledge aren't tied to a specific brand and it's really important to learn these core fundamental topics. However, in the real world, companies when they're hiring are looking for people who actually have experiences and skills on the specific tools and software that they are using. This is where I think the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate shines as it does a very good job of blending both those core foundational topics in a vendor neutral approach with actual hands on real life examples of how to use Microsoft products themselves. And if you're going to choose one vendor's products to learn about how to use then Microsoft is an excellent choice. Realistically, if you want any job in IT or cybersecurity, then you're going to have to know how to use Microsoft products. They are used in the vast majority of all businesses ranging from small to medium all the way up to Fortune 500. Let's dive in and take a look at what the curriculum for this certificate contains. However, before we do, I want to give a huge thank you to Coursera for sponsoring this video. The Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate is broken up into nine fairly comprehensive courses that must be taken in a series and completed in order to acquire the full certification through Coursera. The first course is Introduction to Computers and Operating Systems and Security. This course is an excellent primer in my opinion on the topics that you would need as someone who is new to tech in order to actually be able to understand and succeed with the more complex topics that are covered in future courses in the certificate. It covers things like the components of a computer, how they interact with an operating system, and some of the core foundational topics of cybersecurity. It also has an additional module on generative AI, which I think is an excellent addition as this is something that I believe anyone who's working in tech is going to have to know about in order to land a role and succeed. The second course is Introduction to Networking and Cloud Computing. Now I think this course actually does a pretty good job of introducing the fundamentals of networking. So this covers things like different network topologies, what an IP address is, what subnetting is, the OSI model, and different protocols. So all of those core things about networking that you're going to have to understand as second hand before you even get into trying to secure a network. It actually then goes on to do a pretty good job of explaining the core concepts of cloud computing and talking about things like different virtualization technologies, what containers are, and all of the different as a service technologies that you will encounter in cloud computing. 
In addition, it also gives an introduction to Azure, which is Microsoft's cloud platform. And this is something that is actually explored in much more detail in the following courses in the certificate. The third course is Cybersecurity Threat Vectors and Mitigations. This is the first course in the certificate that is dedicated solely to security concepts, and it helps to teach learners about the different threats that you will encounter as a cybersecurity professional and some of the mitigations against them. My favorite section of this course, which was actually one of my favorite sections of all of the courses in this certificate, was called Epic Attacks and it goes over some of the most notorious and damaging historical cyber attacks that have taken place, including the very notorious WannaCry ransomware. I really like this section of the course and I think you'll enjoy it too. The fourth course is Cybersecurity Identity and Access Solutions Using Azure AD. And this is the first section of the course where I feel like you really get to roll up your sleeves and get some great hands-on experience with specific Microsoft products. The course walks you through setting up a free Azure account, which I would really highly suggest if you are taking this course and certificate, then definitely go and set up that account and use it to actually do the hands-on tasks and the different things that are shown in the course so you do get that hands-on experience. This course walks through the details of Azure Active Directory, including some very common security tasks and concepts. The course wraps up with an interesting capstone project where you are actually tasked with configuring some security policies for Azure, which is another excellent hands-on activity of something that you would most likely need to do in a real world job. The fifth course is Cybersecurity Solutions and Microsoft Defender. This course goes over various cybersecurity solutions for different common threats, for example, DDoS. It also covers other tools like SCIM, SOAR, and of course, Microsoft Defender. The sixth course is Cybersecurity Tools and Technologies. Now, this course I actually thought could use a slight name change because while it does go over most of the core tools and technologies that I would expect it to cover, for example, intrusion detection systems and firewalls, it actually spends quite a bit of time talking about penetration testing, which I actually think is a really interesting topic and I would have loved to see that called out in the actual name of this course itself. Outside of that naming suggestion that I made, I actually really enjoyed this course. It goes into details like how to use the command line, PowerShell, and also the high level details of how you could actually perform a penetration test in Azure. Now, you shouldn't expect to come out of this course actually being able to fully perform a penetration test in a cloud environment, but it is an excellent primer and would really help you to understand what's going on if you are working with a penetration tester or some other ethical hacker who is going to be working on your systems. The seventh course is Cybersecurity Compliance and Management. So I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely one of my least favorite cybersecurity topics, and this is just in general, nothing to do with this certificate or course. However, Governance, Risk and Compliance, or GRC, which this section of the course covers, is a fairly high in-demand topic. So it's great that this is covered in the certificate. It is a necessary thing to know. In general, it's just not something that I enjoy. However, browsing through the contents of this course, it does look like it hits on all of the core topics I would want to see in an introduction to this. The eighth course is Advanced Cybersecurity Concepts and the final capstone project for the certificate. This course dives into some more complex topics like threat modeling, defense in depth, a personal favorite of mine, the Internet of Things or IoT, and some of the more complex mitigations for different attacks. The course then wraps up with a capstone project where you are tasked with creating a cybersecurity proposal for the network and infrastructure of a small business. I think this project does an excellent job of bringing in all of the different skills and knowledge that you've learned throughout the course while also giving you some great hands-on experience of something that you may have to do in an actual real-world job. The ninth and final course in the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate on Coursera is actually a prep course for the Microsoft SC900 certification exam. 
So I actually haven't even talked about this at all yet, but this is another excellent thing about this certificate on Coursera is that all of the courses in it are designed to actually prepare you to successfully write that Microsoft SC900 exam and land that certification, which this is an excellent certification to have from Microsoft and would definitely help you to stand out on a resume. So this course actually goes over what to expect in that exam, some exam writing tips and practice for actually writing that exam. And another excellent thing from this certificate on Coursera is that if you actually complete the entire certificate on Coursera, at the time of recording this video, you'll get a 50% off voucher to then go and write the Microsoft certification. So this is some excellent motivation to actually go out and get that additional Microsoft certification. Now that we've covered this fairly complex curriculum, I'd like to wrap up by talking about some of the things I liked most about this certificate. One thing that I would have done differently or that I would like to see improved, and then who I think would benefit the most or should take this certificate. So first off, let's talk about some of the things I really liked. The courses in this certificate do an excellent job of splitting up covering core foundational topics in a vendor neutral approach, while also showing you how to use specific Microsoft tools and technologies like Azure and Microsoft Defender. This blend of covering core foundational topics and also showing you how to use specific in-demand tools and techniques really sets you up for success to helping you land an entry-level cybersecurity job. The second thing I liked about this course is that there are various videos, walkthroughs, lessons, projects, and assignments that are designed to get you hands on the keyboard using specific Microsoft tools and technologies that I think are in high demand for entry-level cybersecurity positions. And I would definitely encourage you when you are doing this course to make sure you do all of the hands-on exercises to get the most out of it. The third thing I really liked is that this Coursera certificate and the courses included in it actually help to prepare you to write the exam for another certificate, which is the Microsoft SC900. And this certification is a great one to have on your resume and help you stand out when you are applying for those entry-level cybersecurity positions. So the one thing that I wish this course had a bit more of was even more hands-on videos or walkthroughs and assignments. So while there are quite a few in this course, in my opinion, getting those practical hands on the keyboard skills are one of the most important things for actually translating what you learn in a course or certificate into the real world. So I would definitely encourage you when you are taking this course to supplement it with some of your own learning or making sure you're just doing extra practice on the hands on things that you learn. So who should take these courses and get this certificate? I think it would be very beneficial to anyone who's looking to break into cybersecurity and land their first cybersecurity role. That includes people who are fresh out of school, those looking to make a career change, or those who are already in IT or tech and are looking to upskill and move into cybersecurity. In addition, I think this certificate would be excellent for anyone who works with Microsoft products, especially Azure, even in a non-technical role like a product manager. If you fall into any of these descriptions or this video just piqued your interest, now is a great time to launch your cybersecurity career and start learning with Coursera. They've got a great promo on right now where you can get 40% off your first three months. I'll drop links down below for details on that and all of the certificates that I talked about in this video. Thank you for tuning in.